What is up guys, it's me, the King of the Sea, and welcome back to another video! We are back in the MasterChef Challenge. This is episode 21, and let's get straight into it. So it is Wednesday, the 3rd of fall. We're going to carry on where we got to in the last episode. Year 1 has nearly ended. The first thing we're going to do is tend to our crops. We've got a lot of fall crops in here now. Some which are needed for the recipes and some we can just make for a little bit of extra money. Now we have got some uh, mail today, so let's check this out. And it is Caroline. She has nicely sent us a cauliflower. We do need to talk to Caroline. I've not spoke to her in a long time, actually. Marnie has gave us a quest to give her an amaranth, which I think we've actually got in the ground right now. So that's going to make Marnie happy. Um, which we do need to still talk to her actually. Demetrius still needs a melon. I think we do have some melons in the chest, I believe. Oh no, we're not we've actually got one on our inventory. So we'll go and give that to Demetrius today. I've got a pink cake and Marnie actually loves that. So I'm actually going to give Marnie that today because we still need to get some more hearts with her to get her last recipe. She already had two this week? Damn it. We'll have to wait for her then. Didn't realise we already gave her two gifts this week. We'll have to wait until Sunday when it resets. But guys, I'm going to water these plants, sort the animals out, and then we'll, I'll tell you what we're doing today. Okay guys, crops are all watered. Now I'm going to sort the animals out. The chickens. We don't need any of the eggs anymore. We don't need the mayonnaise. But we can obviously still contend to them. Make them happy and make a little bit of money just in case we need it. Today we are going to take a trip up to the carpenter shop, Robins, and build our very first mill which we can start processing the wheat into flour and the beets into the sugar which are very much needed for this challenge we need a lot of wheat flour and sugar also as you can see the cows and deers are grown so now we can get the milk so let's go and get the milker and get our first lot of milk which is insane we're going to get four today because we get normal milk from the deers as well it's a uh, normal cow's milk so i don't know how much milk we need in total i think it's quite a lot but four is a good start i am just going to quickly check to see how much we need to be fair but here we go our first First, milk. Oh yes, such a crucial ingredient to cooking. Use it for a lot of things, especially bacon. I'm quickly just going to check exactly how much milk we need guys, also cheese, so bear with me. Okay guys, so we need free cheese and 11 milk. So what I'm gonna do is make the cheese first. Once we've got the free cheese, I'll keep the rest of the milk, which is pretty good. So I'm gonna keep two more milk on us, which I'm gonna use for the cheese, and the rest of them I'm gonna start storing away in the fridge. I don't wanna be losing them. So 11 milk in total and free cheese which is nice so we are going to go up to robin's right now i'm actually going to go up now and get this mill i don't know how much it is and what resources we need so i might take a look at that as well and i cannot believe it guys we actually need four cloth to get one mill and we've got no sheep i'm actually gonna have to buy some sheep just to put into this barn here well i've got to upgrade the barn first that way I can start getting some wool to turn into cloth. Now there is a way we can find cloth and that is by putting soggy newspapers into recycling machines but it's quite a low chance and it could take us a long time to do that. I mean I've got two here. I could start putting them in there but it's like I say it's a long long time before we might be able to find one of those because you do get torches and coal and other things like that. So I think it's worth just going up and getting the upgraded barn and then of course we can just get one sheep if it is or two and then that way I can start getting some wool. So we've still got a lot to do to get the mill. It's 50 stone, 150 wood and then four cloth. So you know what I'm going to do? Go up to Robins and upgrade this and see how much it's going to cost. We've actually only got 40 wood as well. This is not good. This is not good. Okay, first things first. It looks like we're going to need some trees. I'm going to have to chop some trees down on the farm and get some wood. Especially if we need 150 for the uh, mill. But of course I need some for crafting as well. Like looms and upgrading the barn. Wood's going to be essential right now. And guys, I've just noticed as well. Before we unlock the sheep, we actually need a deluxe barn. Which is going to be 25,000 gold. 550 wood but first we need the big barn which is going to be another 12,000 gold and 450 wood that's going to be too much resource and too much money and too much time so I don't think we're going to be able to get the sheep as of now so what I might have to do is just try a look with the soggy newspapers in the recycle machine and get the cloth 
that's the only thing I can do right now because we've not got the money to upgrade to the deluxe barn just yet. This is more difficult than I thought and I need to think about this properly. I could probably upgrade to the big barn ready to get the deluxe barn just in case we can't find a cloth but it's a long way away before we can start getting the wool of the sheep so that's going to be something we can probably do toward the end of the year or the second year and not focus on that as of now you guys will have to let me know down below do you want me to focus on doing the mill and getting the sheep now or do you want me to wait till the end of the year or in winter or maybe next year just let me know guys the plan of actions but right now it's 5 p.m and i've done nothing so what we are going to do is just stop what we're doing we've got a little bit of resources I am going to put this soggy newspaper back in the recycling machine and hopefully try and get another one. Also put away my wood and my sap that I've got and my resources. We've got one cheese now, so we need two more. I'm actually going to put another one of these milks in there. Boom, boom, there we go. And let's just go into town for a little while and see what we can do. Here's me thinking this challenge is easy and we're not far away. But then just one thing after another keeps coming. I didn't think we was needing any money anymore. I thought that's all the money that we needed. But it turns out we still need at least 40,000 gold just to get to the deluxe barn. That is just to unlock the sheep. And then we need to buy the sheep as well. Get the shears. Oh, there's a lot to do, guys. Let's just uh, relax, let our hair down and try and find some NPCs to talk to. Sebastian, don't care about you. I'm sorry, mate. Okay, the next birthday is very important. Not Elliot, because obviously he's not going to give us no gifts, but it's Jodie. My girl Jodie, it's her birthday. And we're going to have to give her something she loves, which is chocolate cake, a diamond, crispy bass. I'm going to make sure we have got one of those, just so I can give it to her, because she is going to send us the last recipe in one more heart, is it? Yeah, one more heart, and we get her next one, which is 147 points. I can probably do that before the birthday anyway, but, you know, I've got to give her a birthday gift, because it's Jodie anyway, my girl. I need Demetrius and Robin, I need to talk to those, but I think it's going to be too late by the time I get up there. Oh, here they are, quickly, let's go inside. Demetrius, I've got something you need. It is your beloved melon. Woohoo, this is perfect. It's just what I need for my research. It's going to be hard not to eat it. Thanks a bunch. You are very welcome. It's nice to have some company after all this lonely lab work. You've got Robin, she should be enough. Now I can actually give him a normal gift as well, which I'm gonna give him a blueberry, I think. Thank you, this is a very interesting specimen. Right, now let's talk to Robin. Hey there, game chef. So you also like a blueberry, so let me just give you one of those. I've already given Robin two, damn it. Oh no, there we go, it counted as me giving her two, but thanks, this is really nice. So we actually gave her one as well. Are you doing okay at your place? How's the woodwork in your cottage holding up? Not too good, I do need an upgrade, I'm not going to lie. So that's them two done, which is pretty awesome, don't have to worry about them just now. Oh my god, look at Demetrius, guys. He's just gone straight up to eight arts, just by doing that quest with him and give him a gift. That is insane, so I don't think we need to talk to him anymore. He's gonna send us this last recipe in the morning, so it, that should happen anyway, hopefully. And then that's it, that's him done. Very awesome. What about Robin, how's she doing? She's only on four hearts. Damn it, we've still got quite a way with her. Oh, we do need to keep going to the desert as well and talking to Sandy. I keep forgetting about that. We've actually unlocked the desert now as well. Where's Linus? I still need to talk to Linus as well. Let's give him a gift while we're up here. I think he's not had two this week hope so anyway okay so let's give him what does he like he loves cactus fruit and coconut oh my god well there's a silver cactus fruit this is wonderful you've really made my day special that is awesome so now we've got five hearts with him 106 more points and we can get to the sixth heart we'll give him the coconut tomorrow that's pretty awesome Guys, you know what? Because I have wasted a day today, I'm just going to accept this reward. We've wasted a day today because I didn't know what to do. It was one thing after another. I'm just going to go to sleep and we'll get cracked on with the next day. And oh, we've got a first days or not. We do actually need four of those. So that's one down. So that's always a good find. Tomorrow, we are going to do a bit of foraging. We'll do some, we'll send some more gifts to people. I'll go to the desert and get Sandy some hearts up with her. We've got a torch again. You see, I put two soggy newspapers in there, which you can get a chance of getting cloth but we've got three torches out of that it's just not gonna be good it's not gonna go our way but what more can i do oh hold on there's another cheese so we need one more cheese which is gonna be from this milk here and that's all the cheese done and we've got one hazelnut with it that we need i'm gonna sell the two mayonnaise today's done let's put these in the fridge out of the way there we go Okay, day two of the episode, it's Thursday the 4th of oh, fall. Let's get back to the grind, it's a windy day again today. We need to walk the plants. Is this Demetrius' recipe? It is! We've got the Autumn's Bounty, that is another one done. Thank you, Demetrius. We don't need to talk to you anymore. That feels good. And there is our last cheese, so we don't need any more cheese. We just need the rest of the milk now. I'm going to water the plants, tend to the animals, and then we'll focus on today. I'm going to do some fishing because it's a fall. It's a new season. We do need to catch some fall fish. That's going to be very, very important. 
and someone is cutting their grass outside. Do you mind? I recorded the video. Damn it. The sun comes out. The lawnmowers come out. Don't mind them, guys. Don't mind them. It's a sunny day in England. People want to cut the grass. Let's get these four milk. A few more days of collecting milk and we will have everything we need, which is awesome. Goodbye, cows. I'll see you later. We'll get the eggs from the chickens. Not that we need these anymore, but you know, they're still nice to make a little bit of money on. We could probably never talk to these chickens ever again. But eggs do make some good gifts for people as well. So, you know, it's a win-win situation. Okay, guys. Crops all watered. I've actually got some corn done today, so I'm going to collect this. Not that we need any of this. I mean, we can craft an oil maker and start turning this into oil because we do need a few oil as well for some recipes, part of the ingredient. So I will keep some of this away because I'm not sure how much oil we need. And now I do want to craft an oil maker, but I'm not sure we can do it yet. We can. 50 slime. I don't think we have 50 slime, if I remember. We've got 24. Guys, we need to go mining. Gotta go mining today. I want that oil maker. We've got some hardwood though. We've got 14 corn, so that's going to be 14 oil because it's one... It's one corn per oil I think so that's gonna be okay so what I'm gonna do guys is put these milk and cheese into the fridge store away sell the corn Let's do that right now and then I might go and do some mining for a few hours and then do a little bit of fishing do best of both worlds first three cheese in total stored away we've got five milk we need 11 in total we are getting somewhere we're getting somewhere so let's go and get the fishing rod on us I'm going to put away the scythe and the axe. We've got the pickaxe, we need a sword. And let's go! But first, you know what? Let's also go to the desert. Let's go and give Sandy this sweet pea, because she loves them. So that's easily going to get us some friendship points up with her. We have got our second hazelnut here too. We need three. We need two more of those, and that's the hazelnuts done. Pam, good morning. How are you? Feeling hungover? I bet you are. Take me to the desert, please. Oh, that's a long journey. Thanks, Pam. I feel a bit travel sick. See you later. Hello, Sandy. How are you? That shady looking guy in the back. I'm not supposed to talk about it. Oh, oh, him over there? Yeah, don't worry about him. Anyway, what's the weather like in the valley? It is a very windy day. I wish I was up here in the desert all day like you. But I've got something for you. Here we go. Oh, I absolutely love getting flowers from the valley. I'm so happy. Yeah, you know, Sandy don't see no flowers in the desert. It's just cactuses, coconuts. So it's nice for her to see some beautiful purpley green colour. So she's very happy. Now let's take a look. We've got no hearts with her yet. Even though we've given two sweet peas in total. Damn, she's going to be tricky to talk to, right? She still needs 50 points to get one heart. Oh, darn it. Okay, well, see you later, Sandy. Whilst we're here, do we have any coconuts or cactuses that we can collect? They can be used for gifts, but also we can make a little bit of money off them if we need to. There's nothing, nothing around. Got some wormies. We got a book. Of course we care about the books. Reading is very important. Right, let's go. And now we'll go straight to the mines. We'll spend at least two or three hours there. Maybe just to kill some slimes because I need 50 in total. So we'll go around the first uh, few levels of the mines. And then we'll go down and do some fish. I will definitely check to see what fish we need to make sure. And then we'll uh, work our way around that. Hello, Mayor. Not spoke to you in a while since you gave me your last recipe. <laughs> it's all good. Don't worry. I'm quickly just going to talk to Caroline. We've only got four hearts with her. I'm actually going to give her this cauliflower. There we go. Oh goodness, are you sure? Yes, I am. See you later. We found an acorn in the bin there. We've got a blackberry. Okay, thank you. Let's go to the mines. Things are distracting me. A bit of nighttime fishing won't work anyway. I'm sure we can catch some fish that we need at night time. Hey, Demetrius. Thanks for the, uh, the recipe you sent us. I'm sorry I won't talk to you ever again, but... Um, I still thank you anyway. Okay, let's go to the 10th floor and just see if we can find some slimies. You know what? You can never find slimes when you need them. But when you don't need them, they're everywhere. And there's the first one. A bit of bug meat won't hurt either because we can craft that into bait. Ah, we've got a few slimes on this floor. This is what we like to see. I never thought I'd say that, but I am. Slimes are actually important for once. Give me this slime, babies. These lower levels, they're very easy to kill with the sword that we've got too. And look at all the copper. You know what? I'll take this. We'll probably mine up until 6pm and then I'll spend a few hours at night fishing to see if we can catch at least one fish that we need. Another slime, mate. Oh, I didn't give us no slime. I'm sure these two will. He's free. Nope. There we go. What a great floor that was. Maybe I can just leave and come back onto this floor. Okay, we've actually got some more down here too. These bugs aren't too bad because like I said, we're getting the bug meat too. It's going to be the last floor and then I'm going to get out of here. We've got another slime though. Maybe there's a few more down here. There is indeed. I see one. Damn it. As soon as you're born, you're going to die. 
The cave just found topaz, some mixed seeds and stuff. Let's get out of here, 6.50 p.m. And let's do some fishing. In fact, we've got no space. I'll have to go home first. I'm going to go home and then do some fishing. It's okay. We can fish up until like 12 o'clock anyway, so it's fine. Don't worry, guys. Well, guys, whilst I'm heading down to the beach, I've just checked to see what fish we need, and we can't catch any right now. We can get a, we need a salmon and a sea cucumber, but we can only catch them up until 7 o'clock, any, any weather. We need an eel, which can only be caught when it's raining. So, yeah, we are going to have to wait until tomorrow to do some fishing. But whilst I'm down here, I'm going to talk to Willie, because he's here. I do need to give him a gift as well. Willie's very important. Like I said, he's the one with the most amount of recipes that he sends us. He does like an amethyst. You know what? I'll just give him one. Why not? There we go. But let's go and get these down here. Is that a lobster? We need a lobster. It better be. Yes, it is. We got a lobster. We do actually need one of those, which is awesome. I'm going to put some more bait in there. We need that crab. Still need that crab. But I am just going to spend the night fishing whilst I'm here just to make a little bit of money, guys. And um, I'll see you probably tomorrow in the next day. Before I end the day, I'm just going to put the hazelnut in there. So that's two hazelnuts now. I actually caught three gold super cucumbers. So hard to get. I actually missed it. probably another two or three. But we've actually put them in the bin to sell. We don't need them for anything. So I don't know how much money that's going to make. But I'm going to end the day here, guys. And we're going to play through one more day for this episode. We've got level four combat up, which is pretty good. And there we go. The sea cucumbers. As you can see, we've got three, which was 1,400 gold. Don't mind if I do. Okay guys, so it's the next day, it's the Friday, the 5th of fall, and it's going to be the last day of this episode, so let's go and do something productive, because for some reason I feel like the other two days have just gone nowhere, I don't know, we've not really done much, apart from get a few recipes from Demetrius, and uh, a few more ingredients, but that's about it. Today, as you can see, we've actually got some bok choy, which is amazing. Now, we do need some of this, we need just the one for a super meal, so that is awesome, so straight away I am going to keep one of those away and the rest of them we can sell so before i even water the plants and do anything i'm going to keep this one away in the fridge straight away just because i don't want to sell it or do anything with it and lose it otherwise we'll have to get some more in the ground now nothing else has grown just yet so i'm going to water all these plants guys and then uh, we'll think about what we are going to do today okay guys so all the crops are watered i have put some bait into the crab pots here and also i've got the two wild baits which i'm going to put down on the beach i'm going to sort out the animals right now and then what we are going to do today, oh, we've got two large eggs. Nice one. The chickens are getting very happy. One white and one brown chicken. They're the happy ones right now. Yeah, so what we are going to do today is fish. We've got up until 7pm to catch two of the fish that we can get on uh, any weather, which is the salmon and the sea cucumber. Now, the salmon, I believe, is in the rivers and the sea cucumber is down on the beach. And we've got up until 7 to catch both of those. Now, we still need eel, but we can only catch that in fall uh, in the rainy weather when it's raining and then we need like a squid which can only be caught in winter and uh, the eel can be caught in winter as well i believe so that's all the cows fed we've milked them we don't need any cheese i'm going to keep away the four milk that we've got today two large eggs i believe make gold mayonnaise so we'll shut them in there so what we'll do is first let's keep things away in our fridge the four milks so we've got nine in total we only need two more guys and that's all the milk done which is awesome as you can see we are starting to unlock things to cook now now that we're getting the milk and things like that but i'm actually not going to cook these just yet because i'd rather do that towards the end when we can just have a cooking spree and cook everything that we need it's easy for you guys to follow so you know exactly which ones we've unlocked already because it's going to be confusing because if i cook that i'm not going to know which ones i need to cook again unless i take a look at the collection and it's going to be confusing that way so at least if all of them are highlighted i know which ones i can cook so let's go down to the beach we will put the bait into the crab pots. Hopefully we've got a crab. And then also we'll do some fishing as well down there for a few hours. Trying to get the sea cucumber. I need to double check that we can, can get it down at the beach. <laughs> and then we'll come up to the river and try and catch the salmon. Oh, here's Jode. Jode, Jode, Jode. Hello, my beautiful lady. How are you doing today? You've already had one gift. You need one more. And I'm going to give you... Hmm... Let's give you a silver melon. It's a little bit of a better quality, so you are going to enjoy that. See you later, baby! Okay, the wizard. Nah, he's not going to give us no gifts, so it doesn't matter about him. Jody's birthday is soon, on the 11th. I need to make sure I remember that, because... Uh, I don't want to mess. I don't want to miss that chance. In fact, did we get a heart by giving her that gift? We did. Jody's gone up, I think, or has she? Or was we already on six? I'm not sure. Maybe not. I think we need to get one more heart to get uh, her last recipe. That will be. Oh, rabbit nearly ran at me. Okay, so let's go down to the beach then. Let's put these two wild baits in here. Come on, crabs. 
We need the crabs. I never thought I'd say I want the crabs. Oh, this is rubbish. Okay, let's get the wild bait in there. Might be a little bit better. I know they're quite hard to get the crabs, but oh well. I'm going to find Willy as well, because I'm going to go and talk to him, give him a gift. Let's see what he likes. Sweet pea is the only one. I need to give that to Sandy, because she loves it. Damn it. We're going to get some pumpkins soon, so that'll be nice, because he actually loves them. See cucumbers too, he actually likes them. It's hard to give gifts to, to Willy because he's very fussy on the, the neutral likes. Okay, I'm just going to do a spot fishing down here. Obviously, we've got up until 7pm. Shall I just focus on the sea cucumber today? If I can't get the sea cucumber and it's getting to like 4 o'clock or something, I might go and just go into the river and get the salmon. But I want the sea cucumber because I think this is the hardest one to get. Salmons, I don't think, are so bad to catch. Alright, if I remember anyway. Well, this definitely isn't a sea cucumber, because I swear they fight quite a lot. Nope, we got the tilapia. Meant to be a very tasty fish, but I don't like fish, I don't eat it. So, uh, I would never know that. But a lot of people swear by that. I'm not sure. Oh! Yes, we got the sea cucumber. Get in. You know what, I might try and catch one more. That was very easy, actually. Maybe the salmon's harder. But if I can catch one more, I can give it to Willy, because he loves them. I'm going to fish up until four, then we're going to get the salmon. One more sea cucumber would be awesome, so let's try. This could be it. Oh, maybe not. Okay, it is. Oh my goodness, they are so easy to catch. Maybe it's the super... I know the super cucumbers are really hard to catch. I thought the sea ones was as well, but maybe not. Willy, I will have a gift for you, my friend, and it is a gold sea cucumber. You love these, it's gold. You're going to be so happy with me. This is great. If only me old puppy was around, he'd go nuts for this. Okay, well, there we go. We've still got four hearts with him. I think we had three, so maybe we did go up there, which is insane. If we can catch a few more of those, that will be awesome. I can actually easily give gifts to Willy then. That's what I'm going to do. Maybe every single day I'll catch one of those when I need to give him a gift. It, it wasn't hard to catch. Didn't take long at all. But now I need this salmon. We've got up until 7 p.m. It's half past four. We'll catch these in the rivers. These are a little bit more difficult to catch than the sea cucumbers, so it's going to be a challenge. But let's try. Okay, here we go. The first cast. The first fish. What could this be? There's some bubbles right there. It's just peered as well. Maybe we can get those. And there we go. Salmon wasn't very hard at all. We managed to get it with the first fish that we got. I'm not going to be able to get those bubbles, I don't think. They are just a little bit far out. But the salmon and the sea cucumber is done, guys. They're the ones we needed for the ingredients, for the, for the recipes. We only needed one of each as well. So I think I'm going to leave that there with them. Martin's already added two gifts. Who's just gone in here? Oh, it's little Vincent. Is there anyone we can give a gift to today? Evelyn. Pierre's already done. He only sent us one. Linus can have another gift as well. And Caroline. A Robin can. Okay. So let's go and see Evelyn then before it gets too late. Oh, there's Caroline too. Can we give her anything? That we've got on us. Sweet pea. Damn it, I need that for Sandy. I'm going to go to Sandy tomorrow. She's already had two. Oh no, it resets Sunday. <sighs> um, I can't give you that, Caroline. I'm sorry. I'll have to find something else for you. Is George already done? No, he's already had two. George has already had two this week. I'll talk to him now just to say hello. But Evelyn can have one more. And that's... Oh my god. Also a sweet pea. Right. A lot of people like corn and cauliflowers and things like that. I don't want to give the sweet pea away. It's our last one and Sandy loves them. And it's going to be a lot better to give that to her. Maybe I can't give Evelyn one as well. I have to try and get some more gifts on our inventory that people are going to like. It's getting a bit difficult to give people gifts at the minute. It's too late to go to the desert right now. So I'm going to do that tomorrow, which will be in the next episode. So what I am going to do is sell all of this crap that we don't need. Okay, the salmon that we got was gold. And so was the sea cucumber. Did I not put one of the baits in the crab pots? Darn it. Maybe I didn't. There we go. Got two gold mayonnaises from the large eggs. I'm going to go into the fish chest. Obviously, I'm keeping all my fish that I need for this challenge in here. Just because if they was in the fridge, it would get confused with some of the recipes. The ones that require any fish for the meal. It will take away the ones that we need for certain recipes. So it's best to keep them in there for now. We'll probably do all of the recipes that don't require fish first. And then the ones that we need to do with fish, we'll do individually so we don't get confused with that. Okay, we've got a little bit of junk. I may as well chuck some stuff in the recycling machine. I've not checked the mushroom cave in a long time, so I'll go ahead and do that. I think what I'm going to do is spend a few hours of this night chopping some trees down because we are going to need some wood eventually. It's one thing I'm running quite low on. Also, we have got some trees below our farm with some uh, tree tappers on. I wonder if we've got any maple syrup. I've not checked that in a long time. Keep forgetting about it, to be honest. It's just down here somewhere. There we go. Yes, we've got a pine tar, we've got a maple syrup. Now, we did need one maple syrup for a maple bar. I think we just needed the one anyway. Yes, we did indeed. So that's one other item that we needed. We don't need any pine tar, but that is used for crafting something, so I will keep that away. Another thing that we need for artisan product is the void mayonnaise. We need one void mayonnaise, so we need 
avoid chicken. I forgot how we get that. I think the witch comes along when you've hit a certain amount of money or something like that, I believe. But let's keep this away. Chop a few more trees down before the night ends, guys. Okay, guys, we've got a few more uh, wood, about 100 and something, I think. Just put it in the chest. I'm going to put this maple syrup away because that's another thing that we need in there. It's getting quite full. There's still quite a lot of things we need in there. So it's going to take a little while, but we are slowly making some progress. I'm going to end this day right there, end this episode as well. If you guys did enjoy this episode, give it a big thumbs up. Share the love of this series so we can post more episodes out. It makes me thrive to put them out when you guys enjoy them so much. There will be another episode out tomorrow, so day after this one goes up. And also, I will be live streaming an episode of this on Thursday, which will be 8pm UK time. I'll post the times up on my Twitter and Discord just to let you guys know when that will be for your from your country your time zones so if you want to watch a live episode of this it's just so we can get a lot more progress done because obviously if we keep playing episodes out of these in just two three days it's going to take a long time so live streams are good to interact with you guys get your feedback and also get some progress done as you can see we've got to level nine farming we can now craft the seed maker iridium sprinklers and quality fertilizer which is great and we made quite a bit of money today from some crops just under 2,000 gold. But guys, I'm going to end that one there. If you're new around here, make sure to subscribe, follow me on Twitter, join the Discord server. I've got all the links in the description if you want to go and follow me and uh, keep up to date behind the scenes and all that kind of stuff. Thank you all for watching. It's been me, the King of the Sea, and I'll see you guys on the next episode of the Master Chef Challenge. No, wait, that just didn't feel right. I've got to do the, the normal outro. I'll see you guys on the next video.